Hi there, this is Corey Ringdahl with the Red Carpet Report. Uh, tonight we are here to celebrate the extraordinary Stan Lee. We'll be talking with uh, many of the luminaries who are going to be celebrating him with us. And uh, come along with us and my fellow guardians as we have that exact conversation. Hi, I'm Corey with Red Carpet Report. Could you introduce yourself? Uh, yeah, just go over a fist bump right there. Uh, Peter Sincoda, I play Nobu on Marvel's Daredevil. Excellent. How was that? I mean, it, it seemed it seemed grueling when I watched. Uh, it, it was exhilarating. It was fun as hell because uh, I love the material. I've been a fan for a long time. That said, it was uh, it was painful. It was hard getting up in the mornings after all those uh, visceral fights. Mm -hmm. I was feeling it. I was feeling it. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, what what kind of prep did you did you need to get to that place? Uh, well, I was familiar with the material. Uh, other than that, uh, be of Japanese descent? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> really, uh, there was a, a lot of people collaborate. I, I just walked on and I was, was familiar with my material. A lot of the, the, of the fight scenes, go in there, try to brush up, do make it to rehearsals on the weekend, practice out in between takes. You know, uh, it was a lot of work. It was a lot of work, but I, I was prepared. Absolutely. I said uh, I've been a fan of the material since I was a kid. So um, you've so how I guess you you ah you basically answer this question. Uh, how has Stan Lee's uh, material influenced you over the years? Oh God, I mean maybe hundreds of years ago the uh, kids are reading Shakespeare, but I, I grew up on Stan Lee's writings, all his comics. I read some DC, but clearly I was a Marvel guy, and uh, you know I got into a lot of all my allowance was spent on uh, Hubba Bubba Bubba Blicious and and and, and new uh, new comic books. Really, or, or putting parts on my Kuwahara. So that was it. I just lived, breathed, eat, and ate uh, comic books growing up. So um, I'm, not, I'm not asking if it's the high point, but like how high a point was finding your way into the Marvel Universe? There is no higher point. I've said it. I've already peaked. I called Steven Spielberg my boss on Falling Skies. called Stan Lee my boss on this. Where else can I? I can die now. Probably go and die because it's not going to get better for an Asian dude, I'll tell you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate Thank it. You. Hey, folks, I hope you had as good a time as I did. Uh, make sure you leave a comment below uh, telling us about how Stan Lee changed your life. Uh, give us a like. Definitely a subscribe if you haven't already. And remember, Excelsior.